everyone welcome back for another cookie run kingdom episode in this episode we're going to discuss more or less the things that you should not do in cookie run kingdom so you heard me right so probably um you've been doing this for quite a long time already beginners and advanced players as well so more or less these are the things that you should avoid as much as possible or not forget to do okay so we start off with the first one the most basic of all is do not spend your crystals in buying gold okay this is a big no-no big no-no do not do this because gold is actually very farmable in the game you just have to make sure no uh, you have to uh, make sure that you know where to farm these okay so do not do this that's tip number one number two is let's go back to the kingdom and if you've seen these not those <laughs> you've seen these these are your cookie houses okay so the one thing that the cookie houses give you is actually so they're star jelly sorry um you must not forget to upgrade your houses because of the star jellies again i'm sorry guys i'm so forgetful nowadays again star jellies are very important because these are used in upgrading your cookies if you don't you know upgrade your cookies or your, your cookie houses they will give you the minimum amount of star jellies and will also you know you you also farm for less amount every day so that's basically how important your cookie houses are so that is tip number two number three would be do not upgrade too much of your queue okay i've been trigger happy with this for quite a long time when i started i'll show an example um see my queue for the lumberjacks lodge is a bit long because i i upgraded and spent gems for this one ideally for a queue especially if you're a beginner you don't spend that sh th that much gems here ideally you, you only have between three to five um slots in terms of production the rest um you can save up for other uses especially for summoning your cookies through the gacha system so basically this is actually um you know preventable because eventually you'll be getting these uh what they call this the times 20 in terms of uh your production line so if you can see with wood your roll cake wood eventually you'll, you'll be getting these so the queue actually is not really it's it's still important but it's not really a must so please do not over you know over upgrade your queue especially if you're a beginner okay next would be okay let's move on to the cookies first okay my example is most of us have been given chili pepper cookie okay so more or less we've had the chance to upgrade her and we've spent a powder to upgrade her okay okay take note if you're not really going to invest more on on chili pepper cookie if you plan to invest your powders in others please don't invest in her uh, i'm not I'm, I'm not talking only of, of chili pepper for cookies that you don't plan to use in the future please do not spend a lot of 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 your powders with those cookies because you cannot anymore you know these cannot uh, cannot be returned to you anymore so that's the that's the bum thing about it so basically for her she's already up to level 11 and i'm not using her so much so again it's it's going to be it's going to be a waste of resources not really a waste but more or less you'll be you know you could you could give that to others that uh, you're you're playing like for example um i think i've been i've been playing who, who are my ambush cookies here I ha only have her but if you want to invest it into another ambush cookie like for example vampire cookie who is actually very good in the meta right now in terms of pvp i would have rather invest it with him so i'm i'm actually at up you know level one with him i haven't invested anything because um although i could but again 
do not spend it on cookies that you won't use eventually, okay? Next would be, as a result of powder, where do you usually get your powder? So usually you would get your powder and your... Where are they? Okay. You actually only get your powder, most of it, through your bounties. So this is where you get your, your, your powder. And do not forget to consume... Um, all of your, you know, all of your, um, what do you call this? All of this five, five times, um, five times a day, you're allowed to go through your bounties. Please, um, make use of all of them, consume all five of them because every day, again, you will have different rewards for different powders. So again, please do not forget to make sure that you've gone through your bounties for the day okay next would be this is actually one 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 of the surprises that i've had in terms of the game um i never knew that um your train would be that important to you okay your train as you level up your castle would be very powerful in terms of doing it every day completing what it needs okay because most of most the most valuable valuable items that the train gives you would be these so usually they would give you aura pillars aura brick and aura compasses so more or less don't forget again to to you know to try to do this every day fill up your train make it move as much as possible if you can do it twice a day better because again these are very important materials you need it upgrading you know upgrading your structures like your buildings like your like expanding your area like for example also in your in your uh, what do you call this in your fountain you'll need them you'll need them in in upgrading your castle so again do not forget to look at your train and fill them up and let them go at least once a day or preferably twice a day because as soon as you you know you're able to send them out twice a day they bring you a lot of materials back that you could um really upgrade your kingdom with okay so that is very important as well okay the next would be you've had a lot of cookies already so um um, the the frame of mind is usually you'd only upgrade the ones that you're going to use okay this is the exemption because you should be able to upgrade even the cookies that you're not using because of the bonds okay the bonds actually gives the buffs to all of your cookies so take note of that even if even if um, you're not using those cookies level them up um, they give you a couple of buffs actually HP attack defense there are a lot of buffs that you can actually you know uh, raise with your roster again um, in terms of powder do not do, you know do not do not, uh, do not consume them but for upgrading upgrade as much as possible um, I haven't really I haven't really upgraded some because they cost a lot of gold and more or less i have to upgrade my castle as well so right now i'm actually going just going to finish my castle off and these the other ones that are common i'll usually upgrade them as soon as i have extra gold okay so more or less the next one would be actually this is actually a mistake that i've made in the past and actually i've learned my lesson so in terms of toppings um the only thing that i would really you know tell you in not to upgrade is the extra small sizes and i've done this already so i've fully upgraded i most of my extra small i've upgraded this is actually a boo boo as well do not do this um i would highly suggest you upgrade only medium or small so small case to case if you really need it but definitely medium because you're going to look for a lot of medium toppings 
for you to equip your cookies again do not upgrade the small ones because eventually you'll never use them so more or less again please make sure you upgrade only small or medium toppings okay this one has been neglected by some of you know some of the players who have been playing this um more or less if you've noticed this one these are your gnome houses or your sugar gnome huts so your sugar gnomes are the, the ones responsible for your upgrades they upgrade your 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 buildings they uh clear out your what do you call this they clear uh, this is them so they, they clear out your territory um and normally you the max for this one you have to spend gems for you to max this out so there are a maximum of um of uh three sugar gnome houses or sh three sugar gnome huts so please max them out because you really need them you'll need every gnome that you you know that you can have for you to upgrade simultaneously your buildings your, you expand your territory so again don't forget to buy and max out your sugar gnome huts okay so more or less those are the things that some some i actually have regret doing i really regret because i wasted a lot especially in gems um but actually the, the most important thing before you log off every day is to make sure that you don't forget to fill up your queue because again um even if you fill up your queue once a day at least they're they're producing while you're away but if you don't fill this up there's a really big delay in terms of production and again um production is or production and progress in in, in the game is measured also by these these materials because they add up to your gold they add up to the progress of your of your kingdom so more or less if you just miss a day not producing anything you just log off without you know thinking that i should fill this up you're actually creating a big mistake so try to at most um you know level up up to the most bottom uh because they bring out the biggest you know the biggest uh, uh number in terms of like for example for roll cake wood my, my very good example is this is 20 for one slot so once you click it's a production of 20 just for one slot versus this one this it's this it's only nine so again it's important as well to uh, to level up your key important buildings in terms of um the output capacity that they have but don't forget to more or less queue all your production before you end your day or before you know if, if you're going to go to sleep please do this before you go to sleep okay so more or less those are the you know, the worst things that you could do with cookie run kingdom um i'm not sure if you have other you know other things that we should not do but if you have please put them down in the comments below anyway guys Always take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.